I'm a Why is my spleen on the windshield? And so here we are with the utilities, this time with only three parts, as there's not much to talk about. So, without a further ado... Oh, but before that, this video is brought to you by my merch store. Want a cool looking t-shirt, a sticker or even a mug? Well, check out my merch store, link for that down below. Oh boy oh boy, the standard selection of upgrades and even one experimental. As said, all these are standard, and frankly, like most of engineering, it has that one thing that is outstanding, making any other choice kinda stupid and wasteful. Still, there must be some middle ground, and this is it for utilities. So what are we waiting for? Let's just get into this. Starting with the thermal base upgrade for boosters. This is stupid, and you should feel stupid for picking this. I have already made a video on what is the best shield engineering, so go look up on that for explanation. But basically anything that's not general resistance or capacity base for boosters is just wasting materials. Still, this upgrade may, and I use the word may, be of some use for some really niche full resistance build. Maybe, but highly not recommended. Instead, here's the resistance booster base upgrade. This one only has slightly lower impact on one of the resistance types than the resistance specific ones, but the resistances you get on the other types is way bigger, making it just, just a more pragmatical choice. Now, in previously mentioned video, after my conclusion way back when I made that thing, best shield combo is at most three resistance boosters, after which relatively hard limit sets in for the resistances. And so rest must go for the capacity boosters. So, say for big ships you'd have 5 capacity and 3 resistance boosters, on medium ships you'd have 3 capacity and 1 resistance, or if you got more slots, 2 resistances and 4 capacity, for relatively optimal results. Anyways, this upgrade is necessary, but due to its more or less hard limit due to how resistances work, it's not as important as capacity base. So here we are at the standard tier. Next up then lightweight, as I mentioned in the previous tiers, it's kind of a waste of time and resources to upgrade any other utility other than the shield boosters, but if you must, lightweight may be useful for some jump range improvements, as little as it gives. As for scanners, if you must, pick fast scan at all times, get a fast ship and get the job done properly, it should be self-explanatory. Oh, and as for the only experimental, the flow control is purely passive upgrade for boosters. But why would you pick it over any other upgrade is beyond me. So, there it is, a rather quick and sweet little list. Mediocre, bland, cracker soup. Now, if you seek the only choice for utilities, oh, do go check out that video. If not, well, maybe the pointless list is more your speed? I don't know. Regardless, do share the video around and who knows, maybe someone else will learn from this. Maybe even devs. Who knows?